And so we're going to take a look at Google AdWords specifically for small business. Now, I cannot tell y'all how unusual it is for someone to be focusing on Google AdWords for small business. Really, those topics don't exist because most people will tell you it's too expensive for small business. But what we are going to be doing is ignoring 80% of what Google offers in AdWords and focusing on the 20% of what they offer that works for small business. Now, I recommend this approach in the Facebook uh, 103 class as well. I want to show you all this. In Facebook 103, one of the lessons is the 80-20 rule of Facebook advertising. And here I go into, if you go through to this lesson, the four things that are the 80-20 rule for Facebook advertising. This is great for Facebook. Do not think that these rules apply to Google Ads because they're totally different. And that's what we're going to be going over today is what is that 80-20. Uh, it, it's going to be very confusing when you go in to do your own ad. But if you focus on what I'm telling you, um, the options to use in Google, you can ignore all the other stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at the types of Google ads. Now, <clears throat> Google has a lot of different ad products, but for small businesses, there's really two types of ads that are going to be the easiest and the most affordable to use, and those are search ads and display ads. Now, there are also something called um, shopping ads, and Robin, this is something that your marketing agency has talked about doing with you before. Um, it requires integrating with Magento, your shopping cart. And so it's not one of the easier things to do. So it's not something I'm going to be focusing on today, but that might be something that you want to talk to them about. But for today, we're focusing on search and display. Now, what are the differences? Well, a search ad is the result that you get from doing a Google search. For example, if I'm on Google and I search for social media training, the first four results I see at the top of the page are ads. And Google is very good about being transparent about that. It's showing you that this is an ad. Um, and so that differs from display ads. Display ads are image ads that you see online, not when you're searching, but when you're browsing. So here is a display ad for um, social media online classes. Notice here that it has an image and text, whereas a search ad is just text. That's it. So that's the main difference. Now, which should you use? Well, here's my recommendation. If at all possible, I recommend that you use a search ad. Now, why is that? Because a Google search ad gives people the right answer when they're looking for it. It's immediate answers to the solutions that they're looking for right now. And there is simply no substitute for that. Um, it's the best possible opportunity you are ever going to have. It's the most relevant to people's needs. And that's the upside. The downside is that they are the most expensive of the two ad types. Okay, so if search ads is my number one recommendation, but if your keywords are too expensive like they are for me, then you can use display ads. Now this is what a display ad looks like. And it appears when you're browsing online, and that's the key. You're not appearing when people are searching for a solution you're appearing when they're, they're surfing on the web. <clears throat> and I'm going to give you an example of this. I am buying something to create um, a, a sketchbook, and um, it's a pretty expensive punch. Um, and I was looking very late at night one night for, you know, what my options were, and then I was on Facebook, and literally this is like 1 a.m. I'm on my phone, and I see an ad. Somebody has retargeted me because I was on their website and they're retargeting me while I'm browsing. 
So I wasn't necessarily, their ad didn't come up in search, but because I had been on their website, they were retargeting me with a display ad. Um, and the, the best thing about display ads is they're less expensive. However, they are not as effective. I, I just have to be candid with y'all. Um, but I'm going to show y'all how I use them, and I've been quite happy. All right, so let's build some ads. We're going to build a search ad. We're going to build a display ad. But first, I want to show you the um, ads that our members have run, um, the ads that I've run, so that you can get an expectation of what it is we're actually going to be building. 